your life. In business tonight, Sajakor General has announced it will be restructuring its operations both here in Barbados and in St. Lucia, and some of the company's existing employees will be affected. In a release, the company says this is in keeping with ongoing efforts to improve customer service and deliver superior value in an ultra-competitive market. The president and CEO, Keston Howell, said that the decision was taken after a strategic review of the company's operations. Now, when asked for further comment on the likely number of employees that will be involved in the restructuring process, Mr. Howell responded that they have only just initiated the consultation process with the relevant parties, adding that it is their intent intention to respect that process. Well, a well-known businessman from the north of the island has been playing his part to contribute to ongoing regathering activities over in St. Peter. Owner of the Fisherman's Pub, Kevin Armstrong, has enhanced his live entertainment at the popular Spitestown restaurant with an increased number of steel pan performances throughout the month. He says the additional in entertainment has been a hit with both locals and visitors. We try to bring all the Barbian culture to the point at uh, this time of year, which is tour season. So the initiative Saturdays, we do Sunset uh, Steel Band from 11, from 12 to 3 every Saturday. And then this evening we do Kaiso and Comedy. But because, it, because of the um, regathering, we add on the night, the night aspect of it, as I told you before. Nothing happened in Spice on nights. But we do this all year around the Steel Band. We, we try to do um, Tuck Band, Malisali, the Charles Tuck Band. And we do Charles we do jazz on Thursday, Thursday night. We do a Beijing nights on, on Monday night. So all these are nights we, we do. We start at sunset. So we try to get people to enjoy the sunset. Meanwhile, Mr. Armstrong is also repeating his call for improved lighting in Spitestown to help encourage the hosting of more activities after dark. But he acknowledges it must be a joint effort that involves businesses in the northern town. He says he has led by example by lighting the area around the pub. You gotta do your part. Government can't do everything. You gotta do your part. You can't turn off your light and expect government to put on light. You gotta look at the light in your company and they gotta light the, the streets which belongs to them. You understand? And keep it safe. And it's time now to take a look at how those stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. First up, Jamaica, where Sajgar Select Funds Limited Financial was the volume leader with 11,703,732 units at $1.04 each. And they were followed by Wigton Wind Farm Limited Ordinary Shares and Sajgar Select Funds Limited Manufacturing and Distribution. In Trinidad and Tobago, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with 89,049 shares changing hands for a value of $240,478.34 and they were followed by Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited and First Citizens Bank Limited. And here in Barbados, Guarded Enterprises Limited was the volume leader, trading 5,775 shares at $3.25 each, and they were followed by Emira Deposit Receipt. Your life.